right, so welcome back, guys. This is episode number two here of Project Ozone 3. All right, real quick, wanted to pause the video before we get too far into this. Just wanted to give a huge shout out to Nerd or Die. Nerd or Die is the company that made all of my scenes and overlays and alerts for my Twitch channel. They're an awesome company and everything is reasonably priced. Even my broke ass could afford it. So if you want, if you're going to be streaming, head over to Nerd or Die. There'll be a link in the description below. Check out all of their stuff. They've got all kinds of amazing stuff. They're not, they're not sponsoring this video. It's just, I just wanted to give a huge shout out to them. So go check them out and we'll get back to the video. So in the last episode, we took care of the first set of achievements that you kind of really have to get. So we have some progression. What I want to do is I want to start getting into Tinkers, which is a good armor and, well, not really armor, but it's a good weapon and tool system here that we get to make. Next, we need to get into Water and the Clay, and then we can get in a Bonsai and Hopping Bonsai. And then before the end of the episode, I want to make a Cobblestone Generator. So we can make cobble without having to do that. We have enough iron to make an iron furnace here, which we'll do. So if you notice, there is a little bit of progression since the last episode. Not too much. I got enough iron to make us our nine sifting table thingies here. And then I just got a couple extra chests here to help store things. And then I did a little bit of off-camera sifting. Not too much, though. So the first thing that I think we're going to go after is we are going to, to water to clay. So basically, this allows us to make water. So the first thing we need to make is this wooden crucible here, which is sticks... It's it's kind of almost the same recipe as the sieve, if you notice. The difference is instead of planks, it's logs. So we'll need four logs. Need this. And we'll need some sticks. So let's get some more sticks here. Alright, now that should make the wooden crucible. And basically what we'll do is we put in any kind of like organic material and it'll make water. So there are a couple different things we could use. I like to use leaves. They have best percentage, so we need to make shears. So let's get some leaves here. If you notice... Every time you put one in, it, it gets a higher level. So, and leaves give you, if you look up there, it said solid. It's 250, whatever the measurement is. And that just, it, it's a lot faster with leaves and it takes a lot less resources. Like if I do it with saplings, it takes forever. Now the only other problem is we really have no way to transfer this into any kind of like bucket or anything like that because we don't have buckets yet so now we have it completely full it's got four thousand millibuckets which a thousand millibuckets equals one bucket full so I'll throw this up here and we got the wood so next thing is we need to figure out how to take this out and put it somewhere. Which that gets into here. The wooden barrel. It doesn't say what the wooden barrel is for. The wooden barrel is basically just a tank. It allows you to capture things. So, wooden barrel. Need planks for this. There we go. So 
So the wooden barrel, basically, what we do is we take the water from here and put it in here. And that would allow us to make clay. Now, we do have these glass bottles here, which we could do that with, you know. It takes a little bit longer to fill up because a bucket is 1,000 millibuckets and this is only 250. So it took a little bit longer, but we still have the same thing. Now, what we put in here is clay. That turns it into dust. Or no, I'm sorry. We put dust in here to turn into clay. Now, to get dust, we have to hammer sand. To hammer sand, or to get sand, rather, go over here to the hammer, we have to do gravel. And we all know how to get gravel. So, let us get some gravel here. We don't need a lot, because we're just doing the achievement. So, that's five... And then we'll do it one more time. And now we have dust. So what will happen is we'll put the dust in here and it turns into clay. And bam, we got clay. Now, we could do this and make a clay bucket. Now, the thing about the clay buckets is they can only transfer water. We can get lava in there, but it's one-time use. As soon as we use it, it's going to go away. So we need to use the aluminum that I got here and make the crushing table. Well, we'll get to that in just a second. So we got the dust here. Now, another thing that we can actually do with dust is we can actually sieve it. Let's put it in here. And the dust gets us a whole different set of things. You see, we have blaze powder here. So, there, there's a bunch of different things. Ooh, we have another aluminum ingot here ready for us. We'll throw that in here. Now, the clay is also used, if we go in here, we go into Tinkers. Now, I can't actually show you this yet until we get all of the starting stuff. But, porcelain. You can go in here. And we can get porcelain. Now, to make porcelain, we need bone meal and clay or bone meal and nether dust. Now, we can't get nether quartz yet because in order to get nether quartz, you either have to be in a nether or you have to sift soul sand, which we can't get it because we're not in the nether. So the other option would be bone meal. Now, bone meal is something we can get. As you see here, we have iron. So there's a 20% drop for dust. So we need to get a bunch of bone meal so we can make the unfired crucible, which then turns into the crucible, which we then could use to make lava. Yes, lava. And then what does lava make? Cobblestone generator. Oh yeah, we're getting there. <laughs> All right, so we got our little bucket here and the next thing i want to do we are going to need to move that we are going to need wood and all kinds of stuff because we are going to work on this the blank patterns or sticks and planks sorry brain fart Blank pattern is going to be something that we use a lot of. So, for instance, you do this, that gets us one piece. We do a chest and a pattern, that gets us the pattern chest. And we actually need to do that twice because one will hold patterns and the other one will hold casts. So, we have that, and I believe this is one. Yep. That is the stencil table. Now the other one, the tool forge, here, we cannot actually make yet. Because we need seared bricks, which is where we're heading to. That's the next step after porcelain is going to be seared. But we can make, it's called... 
the tool something. <laughs> tool station. That's what we're looking for. So let's do this. Do that. And I'm out of blank casts. We make more casts. And now we have this tool station. So then what I'll also like to do is make another crafting bench for this. That way we're not running back and forth. So as you can see, now we've got all of this done. Claim that. Throw that in there. See, now we're up to 20. So what I think I'm going to do... Now I'm not going to be doing this often because I'm trying to save the rack. So we'll do this one more time. And hopefully it gets us something good. It gets us a floating doll. Yeah, that's kind of useless right now. <laughs> Eventually it might be handy, but for right now it, it's pretty pretty useless. So we got three dust here. Let's try to we'll sift that. See, hey, look, we got two bone meal. So we'll throw these in here for now. We'll come back to that later. All right. So now we'll throw these in here. Now we have to figure out where we're gonna put this stuff here. So what I like to do is I kind of like to keep things separate, but at the same time, keep them together, if that makes any sense. So like, you know, the ore processing, I like to have in one area. So what we'll do is we will stick this right here. And then pattern chest, pattern chest, part builder, Tool station, pencil table. That's not where I wanted to put you. I wanted to put you down there. There we go. So then what, eventually what we'll do is right here, we will put our smeltery. But for now, can't do that yet. So now that we have... Go back in here to alpha. The pattern's complete. We can go in to the start of tinkers here. So remember I was talking about porcelain? This is where we need it. And we need a lot of it. Now we also need lava. Before we can even start doing that, we need lava. Which means we need the crucible. So, we have two. Oops, oh, and we have one. So right now we can make one piece of unfired porcelain. We need... Seven more. Six. We need six more. So we have a lot of sifting to do. A lot of hammering to do. So we'll actually need to make a new hammer. We can make that out of iron now. Now one thing, if you've never played Project Ozone before, progression in this game is a lot different than it is in vanilla. For instance, the that I have iron here, I cannot make iron gear. I can't make iron armor. There is a whole progression that we have to go through, and I can actually show that to you right here. This is the progression that we have to do. So first thing we have to make is the workbench. We can't make that yet. Because we, well, actually, we probably could make that. But we don't have anything else to make it. Like, for instance, you know, leather, copper, coal, tin. Iron, I believe, is somewhere right here. Diamond? Yeah, that's down here somewhere. It's, it's, it's a process. It's definitely, definitely a process. So... Armor isn't something that you start off with, or it's even something you don't even have for a while, because we have no way to get leather at this point. It's actually quite easy to get, but it's a process. We have to make a bunch of dirt, which we can, just not yet. We have to sift through the dirt to get grass seeds. We get the grass seeds, and we have to make more dirt, and we have to make a spawning platform. We have to wait for the grass to spread, and then that's where everything will spawn. Hopefully we can get us some kind of leather. 
But even so, it's not like it happens, you know, instantaneously. It takes... It takes a while for grass to spread. And it's, it, like I said, it's a very easy process, but it's a very long and tedious process. So, speaking of processes, we need to get a bunch of cobblestone. And we need to turn that into dust. So let me take care of that, and I will be back in a bit. Alright, so we're back here, and we have four stacks of dust. I actually had to make a second hammer, because the first one and then the stone one that we had went kapui. So yeah. So now, we need to save some of this to make into clay. So let's save that much. We'll make that into clay. The rest, on the other hand, we will sift through and hopefully get a good amount of bone meal here. So let's unload everything we don't need right now. Oh, I got more dust in here. Oh, no, that's duh. <laughs> We don't need you. Now, you'll notice these two things right here, the, the diamond wand and the chisel. I will explain that in a little while, probably in another episode when we start getting into expanding the base. So, for right now, let's go through and we'll sift all of this stuff up here and hopefully we'll get a good amount of bone meal. Alrighty, so we have 53 bone meal, which is more than enough for right now. We also got some redstone, which we don't really need right now. We got blaze powder, we got glowstone dust, crushed quartz, and certus quartz dust. And then some skystone here. All of these will come into play at a later time. So we'll put them all in our special box here. This we will need seven of those. So we'll bring all this out here, we'll combine it and see what we can make. What's left, put back. And we'll start working on this here. Bam. Alright. Alright, so now we have to get the dust. Actually, we put you in there. So now this is a long, long process. So one thing we can do to speed up the process is we can actually use vanilla spawning mechanics, or vanilla water mechanics here. So we want to destroy that. And then we're going to need some cobble, which I don't really have any more of, because I used it all. So let's quick grab some cobblestone. And I don't think five will be enough. So we'll use our little quirk thing here. Yeah, five will not be enough. Eleven will definitely be enough. There we go. So now, what we can do, take the water, and now we have an infant water source. So that is always a good thing, but we want to keep that in case we ever mess up, which I, I tend to do. So we want to get rid of this, put that right there. So now, this is basically a clicking game. Water, bucket, dust, clay. We'll organize it. Alright, so we got our 16 clay here, which when broken down is one stack. So we also, we're going to need this eventually. So we might as well just turn it all into unfired porcelain. So we got another one here. We'll take our clay. We'll throw it back up there. So the first thing we're going to make here is going to be this unfired crucible. That we are out. Let's make some more here. And we'll just throw that in there. And this will make a crucible.
So now we can make lava. However, it's um it's a little bit of a long process. So we put it right here. However, the only way we can cook lava right this minute, actually we have blaze powder. So we can make blaze mesh here. And we'll put that right on top. And as you see right there where it says rate, rate is 30 times. So every tick, it makes 30 lava, which isn't a lot, I know. But all we need is for a bucket. One bucket's worth, which means we need a little bit more cobble. Once we do this, then we can actually make, you know, the cobblestone generator. Make a little bit more cobble right here. Throw that in there. And then that should be the 1,000 that we need. There we go. Now we actually do need another bucket. So we'll take this. Do that. Throw that in there. You're still cooking. And the other thing we're going to need is glass. And six cobble, which we already have eight. To make glass. So we need that. We need our hammer. And glass is the same way. Here. We need to smelt sand. So we'll get some water. We'll get this lava. We'll put it in here. Three, three. Got our glass. The other way. And bam! Cobblestone generator. Okay. Claim that. So we actually got three we gotta claim. They make this handy claim all button. Makes it a lot easier. So, what I'm gonna do right away, since we have all of this, is I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this to the iron tier. If we have the iron that we can spare. And the next tier is diamond. Have any diamond. And then after that, it's. I believe these are blaze rods, and then it's emerald. The emerald, that puts out a lot of cobblestone. <laughs> like a lot of cobblestone. Throw that up here. Throw you in there. Now we're going to start working with this porcelain here in a little bit, so we're going to keep that on us. Now remember this ultimate bin that we got? Yep, we're going to use that. We have our cobblestone generator, which where are we going to put this? I'm going to put it somewhere where it's not in the way. Yes, so we can put it right here. There we go. It just starts making cobblestone. Oh yeah! And as you can see, we don't have any lava. So let us make lava. All right. So the next thing that we need to start working on is we're going to start working here on tinkers. Actually, time out. We might work on the... We might do a bonsai pot. Because then that way we don't have to keep chopping down trees. Yes, we're going to do a bonsai pot. A bonsai pot is five bricks, which we don't have any more furnaces, so we're just going to... Take you out and put you in there for now. And we're also going to need to make the... Well, we don't need to, but to make a hopper. To make the hopping bonsai. One more. And that makes the hopper. We got two. We'll need some more wood to make a chest. Let's make it. I get a double chest. And then this chest we will put... Where will we put this chest? Put it right there. Now, 
We have any spawnable spaces. We do not. Alright. We got our five bricks. We can now make the bonsai pot. And now, make the hopping bonsai pot. Put that in here. Now we need to put dirt in here. We don't have dirt. So how do you make dirt? You need compost, which is that wooden barrel, which is this. So it's multi-purpose. So we'll get our leaves. And that makes dirt. That wooden, that wooden barrel is, is useful for a couple different things. And we can upgrade it to a stone barrel later down the road, which we're going to need to, because eventually we're going to have to put lava in there to make sky stone. But that's something we have to worry about right now. So now we got our dirt. Put our dirt in there. We get our oak sapling. And actually, what we're going to do is we're going to make this an apple sapling. It will still give us oak wood, but it will also give us apples. So that means that we can get rid of you. We don't need you anymore. So we'll throw you in here. Now, we have that completed. We have these two completed, so let's claim all. Next thing we're going to work on here is what we're going to do simple tinkers. So we're going to need a couple different porcelain things here. We're going to need the casting table, the casting basin, the faucet, the tank, and the military. We are going to need some glass as well. Hey, look, we have 200 already. So, bam. And the only reason I do this is because it just makes it easier. Instead of having to... Hammer 64 items. I only have to hammer 8. So now we have compressed gravel. And I don't have enough to make that. So what we'll do is this. Actually, I should have left it compressed. What was I doing? I just hammered it again. See, now I take it off. And we'll do do 16 for now. And then we can do this. And make dust. And we can sift that, sift that when we have the opportunity. Oop, we're done. So as you can see, our numbers here are climbing a little bit. So we need to make the unfired faucet, which means we'll have to put it in to fire it. We'll need, actually, I think that's the only thing we need to use for porcelain. Yes, everything else can be made with the bricks. We'll take you out for now and we'll throw you in there. We'll let this run for a minute and I'll be right back. All right, well, if you can see here, we have tinkers all set up. And if you go in here, boom, we have it complete. So we'll claim and then we'll store that. So now we're up to 35. We're getting close to that 768 that we need. <laughs> all right. So we'll put you in there. We'll put you in there. Saplings can go up back up. So now, what do you use this for? Well, basically, you can take these and turn them into ore. This is also useful for alloying metals. Like so you want to put, like say, aluminum and brass together, gives you aluminum brass. <laughs> or like, uh, let's see, what else is a good one? Um, I don't even know how to say it. Manolium? I don't even know how to say it. <laughs> but that uses cobalt and ardite. That's a very popular metal here. I can... This. This. I don't even know how to say it. I'm not even going to try. But if you notice, molten. There's an alloying here. Molten cobalt and molten ardite. So, this is useful in a lot of things. 
like I said, it's also useful in making tools. So in order to do that, we need some casts. So we get casts by putting in ingots, but see, not enough heat. So where do we get the heat? We get the heat from that. But we don't want to have to make new buckets every time. So what we're going to do is we're going to backtrack. Oops, wrong one. Data. Epsian. We're going to make the crushing table. And that's actually pretty easy. That's just some planks, aluminum, and three stone slabs. Which means we need to get some stone. We get our aluminum here. Three. And then we'll get our planks ready. And we got one stone. Two. And three. This. And we just go into... Crushing. Bam! We have ourselves a crushing table. Now, we need a special hammer for the crushing table, which is two sticks and four cobblestone. One, two, three, four. And we don't have two sticks on us. Now, we do. So, we find the hammer. Bam! We take our iron here. Grab the hammer we just made. Slap the iron on there and we hammer it in. And now we have iron plates. Iron plates? Make buckets. The buckets of lava actually heat. The metal. So now, where we go? We're melting. So what's going to happen is this is going to melt. It's going to be in here, and then we're going to cast it on here to make a blank cast. But we don't want to make a blank cast. Put an ingot down. Here we have molten gold. We pour it over, and then what's going to happen? It's going to dry, and then boom, we have an ingot cast. Oh yeah! All right, so we got tinkers. All set up here. We need to put you. Um, we don't have any item frames. So we'll throw you in there with the rest of our tools that we don't need yet. Some more ingots in here. And now we're good to go. We got Tinker set up. So we claim this real quick. Now, if we go back into the quest line, we go back into alpha, the next thing we need to make is called grout. Grout, if you look here, melts into seared stone. The seared stone gets casted in this seared bricks. The seared brick is what makes the smeltery. If you see all of these items here that we will need to make, we need a lot of grout. And this is a long and grueling process. But that, my friends, is going to be a process for another day, as unfortunately, we're out of time for today. These these episodes are going rather fast. So as you look, see, we got some wood production here. We got cobble production here. So I think we're I think we're gonna you know we're gonna end the episode right here on a high note. Next episode, we are going to start working on the mob farm, and we're gonna work on tinkers. We're gonna finish it up here. So. Next episode is going to be a very fun episode, and there's going to be, it's going to be a lot of, lot of work for me inside. It's not going to show you guys, 
because I'm just going to be like, oh, this is what I got to do, and then I'm going to cut away and come back, like, you know, four hours later when I have everything made. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and if you did, hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.